Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shia Ho, and if you're not, welcome back. If you love this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. If you don't like this video, please leave the exits that way. Today, I wanted to do a random look. I was at H&M because, you know, the holidays, and I was like, I need to get people or whatnot. And I was looking through the jewelry, and I found these cute lemon earrings. So, oh, yes. And I thought they were very cute, and I was inspired to do a lemon look today. Um, I've actually never used yellow before. I don't know how that's going to look on my very go golden toned skin. Um, but we'll see. So let's get started. So just to save us some time, I already did my eyebrows. Um, if you want to learn how I did them, uh, watch my first video and it will explain about how many layers and how I glued it down. But anyway, um, I'm just going to get into my foundation. But while I'm doing my foundation, I want to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13. Um, I'm gagged. I am in love with with this cast. Um, I think it's gonna be one of the strongest seasons yet. I mean, we got Got Mick, uh, who is the first trans person to be on that show, first trans man. Um, she is going to kill it. I am so, so excited. Um, and of course, um, there's a few of our New York City queens there. Some of my sisters, um, Candy Muse. Uh, she is, she is, a queen. She, 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 she got personality. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm excited to see what she's gonna be like, how they're gonna portray her. But I think, I think she's gonna give us TV. She's, she's really good. Um, and then we also got Rose, who is Jan's sister, who's a very talented, talented singer. People are also saying she's a trade of the season. Uh, we'll see about that because. You know, Mick and I heard Joey J is also very attractive at a drag. Um, and we also have Simone from LA, who's Gigi's sister, actually. I don't know if y'all know that. I just love her. I think she's just real. She seems real. I loved her hair, obviously, from the promo. Amazing. Um, we also got Tina Burner from New York, who is a legend. And when I mean legend, I mean old. Um, and speaking of old, we also got Tanisha. Um, I actually don't know, well, I didn't know who she was until the reveal. Um, and I kind of looked her up, but she's apparently been doing drag since the 90s. So, um, there's that. Um, but I'm sure she's really good. And I, I believe she's drag mother of Lala, Lala Ree. I think that's her name. Um, she also looks very fierce. She's a baby queen. Apparently she's only been doing drag for a couple of years. Um, and also Olivia Lux. I actually used to see her around when I started. Um, we kind of started around the same time. I think she started a little bit before I did, uh, but I, I've seen her perform. She's very talented. Uh, she's beautiful. I don't know if y'all follow her on Instagram, but I am definitely rooting for them. And I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna want the New York Queens to do well and of course Mick as the first trans person and of course any of the other POC queens uh Kamara Hall who's also I believe it's Jada Hall's drag sister it's the season's gonna be amazing it's like just looking at the promo shots I'm just like everyone has fashion everyone knows how to paint for the most part uh, unlike other seasons I don't see a clear winner this season usually I could usually tell like Jada I knew she was gonna win like she was fierce, she was like, Gigi was fierce too, but like there was just no competition with Jada. But this season is gonna be hard and there's gonna be a lot, a lot of personalities. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, if you've seen the reveal or know who's in the cast, please let me know who you'll be rooting for or just let me know who you might think will win this season or at least a top four or three. I don't know if they're doing a top four this year, but, um, and I hope it's gonna be live. Let's hope we get the vaccine by then. So I just did my contouring and now I'm just gonna get into my highlight. I just realized that I haven't really talked about myself or who I am. Why not today? Um, so just a little bit about myself. I am a New York City queen, as I mentioned earlier, and I am 24 years old, 25 next month. 
Um, but I actually started drag maybe two and a half years ago, two years ago. Pre-COVID, I started, I did perform. Um, I really enjoyed performing and lip syncing. Um, but unfortunately, because, you know, the pandemic, um, I'm just a bedroom, bedroom queen again. I see my drag as being a little bit more on the campier side. I like to play with around with makeup. As you can tell, today I'm doing a lemon look. I'm gonna be a freaking lemon. Yeah, I like to get inspiration from random shit, honestly. I'll like look into the clouds and see something and I'll be like, oh, I wanna draw that on my face and it'll be like a cow. Okay, now that I'm done with my whole face, I did my contour and my highlights. Um, now we're gonna get into the eye. Um, so I got this palette from Viseart. I'm so excited to use this. Um, it was on sale on Viseart during Black Friday. I've always wanted this palette, but I could have never afford it. It's really expensive. But um, luckily, you know, I caught it at the right time, so I got to finally buy it. Um, so yeah, this is the Viseart palette. I think it's called the Grande Pro Volume 3. It's a rainbow palette that's all mattes. And today I'll be diving into all the yellows and maybe like an orange from here. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. Um, it's like the brightest yellow. I'm just gonna start on the outer corner of my eye and I'm just gonna let it blur out. So now that I got the yellow down, I'm gonna get this like mustardy color um, and try to deepen those outer corner of my eye. Um, so here I go. You know, you always wanna have different dimensions to the eye, even though lemons are just yellow. You can't just have yellow because then your eyes will look flat. Especially since I have a monolid, um, I definitely need to create myself a crease. So I'm just gonna get a, a more tapered brush and just kind of pack it in this little corner of the eye and really try to define that crease. And now that I put in that like weird brownish yellow color, I'm actually gonna deepen a little bit more because you can't really see it. So I'm gonna get this like orangey brownish color um, and try to get it into the crease area. And I'm gonna do that by taking a very tapered brush and I'm just gonna get it into those crease lines or create my own crease line. I must say this shadow is actually blending very well. Now that I'm done with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with line work. Um, this is gonna be a struggle, I can already tell. Um, but I'm gonna be using the water activated Suva liner in Space Panda and I'm gonna draw a lemon on my eye. Uh, let's pray it ends up well, cause I'm gonna need it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by kind of like drawing, like drawing a guide for myself, cause I really don't want to f this up. Looks good. And then I now I'm just gonna connect the dots. Girl, this is gonna be a struggle. Ooh, now that I got that outside, I am gonna draw lines and draw little seeds, I guess. Do lemons even have seeds? I think they do. Well, this, this lemon's gonna have seeds. So now that I got the slice of lime, I'm thinking of adding leaves. I don't know, what do you guys think? You know what, I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm a little worried, um, but why not? You only live once, right? I'm gonna use a Maron Aqua Paradise. Um, it's another water activated paint. I think it's like a face and body paint, but it's great for liners. Okay, wish me luck, girls. I did it. How does that look? It looks like a lemon. Um, anyway, we're gonna do the bottom lashes now. I'm gonna use this orange and I'm just gonna kind of follow along the lower lash line, but not all the way because I kind of want to add some yellow into that as well. And now I'm gonna use next white liner and I'm going to draw my water line. Um, this really helps make your, make your eye bigger. Um, just the illusion because you know, drag is an illusion. Now that we got one eye, I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye and I'll be right back. One hour later. 
Now that I have my eyes and face done, now it's time to get started on my lips. So I'm actually very excited to do my lips today because I am going to be using lipstick from two different indie brands. One is called Color Rain. I'm sure y'all seen it. It is a black owned makeup company, which is great. They make amazing stuff. Please support them and everything's very affordable. And the second one is Jersey Girl Cosmetics. They have been very supportive. Um, it is a Latinx owned business in based off Jersey, obviously by the name. And I'm gonna be using their lip gloss today. So to begin with, I'm gonna start with this colored rain lipstick in the color Huntress. So I like to draw my lips a lot bigger than they actually are. So I draw them probably like an inch bigger than my actual lip sizes are, which is kind of crazy, but I'm a drag queen, so. So we're gonna use this gloss from Jersey Girl Cosmetics in the color Exposed. And I'm just gonna put it in the highlights on my lip. I love this lip gloss. It smells so good. I just, oh, I just wanna eat it. It smells like ice cream. Use my code, which will be on the screen down below and get some money off. Girls, look at these lips. They are dick sucking lips. They are nice and wet. Mmm. She's ready for the night. <laughs> now that I got my face on, I got my lips on, now it's time for the lashes. I'm gonna be using these lashes from Ash Lash Couture. Moments later. Oh my God. I love these lashes. Oh, girl, Ash Lash Couture did it. Anyway, now that I got my lashes and my lips on, I am gonna go off camera and do some finishing touches and I'll be right back with a final look. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so this is the final look. It's not what I expected. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have a yellow top, so I painted it on, as you could probably tell. <laughs> That's the fun of makeup. I mean, look, it's very campy. It's cute. Um, I spent hours rhinestoning this headband for um, this very mediocre look. <laughs> um, but the eyes are cute. I, I really love it. The hair, hmm, Amazon, it's going back. It's definitely getting returned, um, but yeah. I mean, this is all trial and error. Um, that's that's the best part about drag. So I hope you like this look. Um, well, give me your honest feedback. I am dying to hear what you all think. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it um, as much as I did. I think it was ridiculous. Please subscribe and like and comment below. Please tell me what you think. Um, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.